you know, the story is going to be Max Whitlock coming from 8th position coming into this final and winning the bronze medal here at London 2012. With a score of 16.133, Max Whitlock takes gold at the 2015 World Championship. At the Rio Arena, Max Whitlock ends Britain's wait for a first Olympic gold in gymnastics by winning two of them in two hours. The first time I came across Max Whitlock was uh, one of my regional sales managers who was looking after the sales staff at our Basildon development said that this young lad had been in and he was an aspiring uh, athlete but also had a look at our apartments and how does that all work and suggested that we might like to um, help him on his journey. It was a bit of a sort of a learning curve for me because I was so young, I was 16, 17 um, and looking for my own place at that age so I could be close to the gym that I'd train at. Um, and then a little bit later we, um, we built up a partnership with, with Western Homes which was, which was brilliant because I opened the first phase um, come and done gymnastics display in front of um, the local people and we officially opened the first block. It's quite strange actually revisiting it because um, obviously this was the only block that was built, the one, the one I'm looking at behind me. Um, I remember coming here, bringing the, the pommel horse and doing that little display in front of the local community uh, to officially open it. And now looking at it, it goes obviously all the way to the end. Obviously all the, all the phases, all the blocks are now built. And I remember looking at the, the plan and, and, the, and the modules and it got bigger and bigger. And it's obviously amazing to see it where it's progressed to now. I'm sure that whatever help we provide, whether it's uh, emotional, financial or any other way, that must help them on their journey with the feeling that other people around them believe in them and support them. So obviously seeing those places um, in Morella Quarter for Western Homes was, was amazing to see because I aspire to you know, be the best I can in gymnastics and uh, to obviously do the best I can outside gymnastics and seeing the level of quality, the high spec that, that they, they showed. Obviously I aspire to, to obviously ho own something like that one day in the future. Um, and being in their location, that's exactly what, at that time, we was exactly looking for. Well, as, as Max's career grows, so the need support probably grows. Uh, and so it's been really uh, positive and good for us as a business to continue that. I was invited to open some more developments along the way um, and the relationship built and built like that and it was building really nicely. And it, the thing that I loved about the company was that Every time I went and, and caught up with everyone, it was a real family feel. There was a feeling that they, they really supported what I was doing and it was very early on in my stages in my career. So my targets were big, I was really ambitious and I set my targets and I really wanted to sort of go to the next competitions and really move up the ranks. So the support at that time was absolutely vital for me. Uh, the more support I had around me, the better and Western Homes helped me massively with that. As he then becomes more successful, just his appearance and his presence creates a great presence for us. Tangibly for us as a business, it creates a great photo shoot, so therefore the local papers will run it and, and that helps us. So I started gymnastics when I was seven years old uh, and the reason why I got into it was because I originally done swimming. Uh, a friend from that swimming club said I should come along and try it, it was in the same sports centre. Come along and try gymnastics and see what you feel about it and I absolutely loved it. My passion grew with that, with the, with the sport, and uh, you know it's the only reason I do gymnastics now is because I love it. The first competition that really sort of made me believe what's possible and got my career really, really started was 2010 Commonwealth Games in Delhi. Coming out with the three medals that I did from that one really, really spurred me on and made me made me come back, reflect on what I'd done, and set my targets for the future. The support from Western Homes is you know, been incredible, especially in a, in a vital period uh, of my career. So as I was coming through, obviously Western Homes has been my longest sponsor. It's obviously my focus is purely on training, purely on recovering and giving, me t giving myself time that I can do that. It's been a vital reason of where these medals come from. 
if the support wasn't behind me from friends, family, sponsors, the companies, the brands that I work with, then you know these medals wouldn't be here. Um, so I'm obviously very honoured by all the support that I've received. In London 2012, the two bronzes. Um, moving on was the year later, where sort of after this major championships, the Olympic Games, I sort of set a four-year plan with my coach, and we moved on to the European Championships in 2013. Um, which is an amazing competition is coming out with a full set. Another European medal, that one was, was very important to me in 2014. Um, and then it went to the next Commonwealth Games. Some of the medals here from the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, which was an amazing competition. And Glasgow for me has been an amazing place to compete. Support has been incredible. So getting those ones was, was a great achievement for me. Um, and moving on to the ones that really, really stand out in my career. Um, and if I'm honest, the, just because of the colour, they, they mean so much, but this bronze one here uh, was one of the hardest medals out of every single medal to get. It was my all-round medal in Rio, Olympic Games, um, and something that I'm hugely, hugely proud of. And then obviously these two, the two gold medals. Um, history for GB, I'm over the moon with. My most recent medal, uh, was out in Montreal in Canada, the World Championships, uh, and retaining my title on the pommel horse. It was a crazy competition, a crazy build up, so to finish it with that was, was brilliant. It's a crazy feeling to stand on that podium, and my mission going into Rio was to just put myself in a position where I had the potential that my routine could hit that gold medal. And then it's about what you do in a day. Sport is sport, it can be hard at sometimes. Um, but as long as you do, give it your best shot, and that's what I tried. Um, come up with a gold medal, stand on that podium, national anthem playing is just unbelievable. Uh, it really, really is. It makes you think about all the work you put in, all the support that's been behind you, and it would just never have happened if, if, if I didn't have all those things around me. When we first met Max, he was looking at our development with an aspiration thinking that maybe I would like to live somewhere like that one day. So it's all we've done is taken that forward and said, if you were living there, how would you like it to be? When the opportunity came up to design the show home in South End, for me that was amazing. I've always had a massive passion in design and this suited me down to the ground, it suited me perfectly. So when I could jump on board, get involved, my head was running through ideas. Um, at home I was trying to think of ideas of what the look and feel would be like. And when I sat down with the whole design team, it was brilliant to see, you know, going through the look and the feel with the mood boards. Um, yeah. And for me, what was important was trying to get my targets, my future targets, with a little aspect of that that goes into the apartment, um, my previous results, and the gymnastic sport in general. Um, and I feel like it really hit that. It's about it being modern and being classy, and it was perfect, and it was really, really good fun. So it was a proud feeling to stand there and walk through and see what, what we had produced together. Outside of gymnastics, um, it's been a brilliant year. Um, obviously getting married in July was, was one of the best days of my life. Um, and then receiving the MBE as well, which was, which was brilliant. And you know, a real, real honour for me and a, and, a, and a massive bonus coming off the back of you know, being recognised for what I've done in the sport. So, it's been a, a really busy year, but a good one. Good. So now we're going to go into um, 2018 and obviously the build up to the next Olympics. Yep. Um, I know you've got a busy year next year with three major um, championships uh, spread around the globe. Yep. We've just been having a chat about going to Australia <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and then uh, you've got uh, Glasgow, is it? Yeah, with Glasgow you? in August. The European Championships. Doha. Doha, the World Championships at the end of the year. End of the year again. Yeah, yeah. So the three majors obviously going to be a massively busy year again next year, but you know, it brings amazing opportunities and hopefully we can you know, show gymnastics to the world again and hopefully bring back some, some good results, fingers crossed. I'm absolutely sure you will. <laughs> I hope so. uh, your dedication to your sport is second to none. We're delighted to be associated with you and um, we want to continue doing that. Uh, we really look forward to supporting you as far as we possibly can in your success next year. So I want to wish you a happy Christmas Thank to you, you and your new wife. So well done. Thank you very much.